got a uh, new switch for the X Max that uh, sits right in right in that area. And then when the X carriage hits the switch, like that, a little light is supposed to come on, which it does. But following this wire all the way back and over to the place on the board, this connector here. Um, I'm guessing there's a disconnect somewhere. So I've got my multimeter and uh, I'm just going to set this uh, camera up here. And I figure, you know, this might be something uh, good for people to, to know how to do if you're uh, looking at repairing a 3D printer of your own. Maybe to get it for cheap or you know whatever. So this is going to be a little hard for me to get on the screen, but I think what I'll do is basically you're taking one end and putting it on the pen of the connector back here, and then I'm going to take this one and put it on the same pen on the wire that's here. So I'm going to test. So there's, uh, there's four colors here. There's red, black, green, and yellow. And so I'm gonna basically put uh, the tip on each of those silver contacts. And then I'm gonna put the other end over here on the other side, which has these silver tips. So I'm going to sit this down and uh, go ahead and record the screen of the multimeter so we can see what's going on. This is going to be a very quick process. Okay, so we're going to try the red pen first. Alright, grab the red pen on this guy. So right now, it's showing that there's no continuity. It's because there's a break in the circuit. So actually, if I, if I touch that, you'll see it's basically zero resistance and means it's a continuous circuit. There's no break. When you see this, it means there's a break in the circuit. Different multimeters will put it out, uh, display it differently, but in general, this is what you get. Okay, so testing the red wire first. A little hard to do just by yourself. Okay, so the red pen is good. So I'm going to move on to the next one, which is black. Looking good. So that's good. <laughs> the less I have to rewire, the better. Okay, green is the next color. Uh, okay. So there's one problem. And next, the yellow wire. Okay. Well, there you have it. So, turn that multimeter off. And I'm, I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm not happy that I have to fix that. But, I'm glad it's nothing more serious like the board to the printer itself needs replaced or needs a trace repaired or, you know, something like that. Because if it was the board, that could mean there's a whole host of problems that's involved. Like it had too much current going through it at one point or 
something. So it's actually good news that it's just a wire. So I've heard on the CTC printers that this Y axis here is constantly flexing this cable and they're notorious apparently for having breakage. So I guess I am a victim of that trend. So I'm going to try one more. To, well, no, I can't. <laughs> I already sent the printer back down. I was going to try to retest the continuity. I guess I don't really need to do that because we've already determined that it's that it's a build uh, physical wire problem. Uh, it might be handy for people to see, um, basically. How to repair a wire. So anybody doing 3D printing repairs should know how to do this. Um, and it's really not hard, but I uh, figure maybe somebody will learn something and if not, no biggie. So we've identified that the green pen uh, or green wire in this cable is bad and it's got this insulation all the way through. So I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to cut it all the way. Um, my plan is to just take this wire, pull it all the way out, and then put the new one on, but just uh, use some electrical tape and wrap it in a couple places along this shielding. Um, probably in the near future, I can try to find a new cable um, for this printer and have it done correctly or get a nice long strand of heat shrink and redo the whole thing but for now this is what I'm gonna do so I'm just using a flathead and uh, basically what you want to do there's these little pins on here <laughs> if it'll focus there we go so there's these little pins, you can just barely make them out on camera. But you push those in, and then this whole wire comes out. So, <clears throat> let's see if I can get this in a way that you all can kind of get an understanding of it. Alright, so you can kind of see the little pin the flap right there. We've kind of bent it down. A decent amount and that's okay now you can actually pick this little metal piece up uh, at places like Fry's Micro Center if they're in your area maybe Radio Shack you can also buy a boatload of these in a bag on Amazon and all the different sites uh, if you want leave a question uh, or sorry yeah well yeah question comment below if you need help finding these and uh, I'll, I'll find a link and send it to you so we got that one done now we gotta do the other side there we go okay the interesting thing actually would be to that's the continuity again. Now that the wires are exposed. Okay. Plug in the clips now. Sure. Well, that's one of the things when you're testing continuity is you want to make sure you get good contact with whatever wire or pin or position it is you're testing because if you don't have good contact then it uh, might give you a false reading. So we got a real good clamp on that.
and I would say we got a good clamp on this one and we're still reading broken connection. So this is a worthwhile investment of our time, which we kind of already knew. But, uh, another video will be out soon, hopefully showing the printer working. Talk to you soon.